Okay, now we are going to do the meatballs, the different kind of meatballs. Let me tell you something. It is raining outside and it's chilly and it, it's making me get into a, like a Christmas spirit for some reason because it's chilly. I had to put on a thick sweater and everything even though I'm inside. But I got this little Christmas spirit going on. <laughs> But let me show you what I'm going to do with this meatballs. So, of course, let me fix this here. Of course, we're going to have the hamburger meat. This is a whole lot of hamburger meat. I'm not going to use all of it. And I'm going to use that. And then I'm going to use some bacon. It's going to be, it's going to be a little unhealthy, but it's going to be good. And then, look at this. Mm -mm. This is jalapenos, a whole lot of jalapenos, 11 pieces. Thank you very much. But, and I will spice my hamburger meat with oregano, some paprika, some Himalaya salt. That's it for the hamburger meat. And then I'm going to make some uh, mashed potatoes. And I have just a little bit left of my potatoes. I'm going next time. Next when I plant, I'm going to do a whole lot because they were really good. So I'm going to use them and add this one to it. I'm going to have butter and then salt and some uh, white pepper in it. And then warm milk, warm, warm milk. Okay, I'll show you all when, when I do it. And then I will make some sauce. And in the sauce is gonna be sour cream, bouillons, bon bon, my heavy cream, little bit of soya sauce, some red plum jam. I barely have enough, but it's gonna be enough. And then some maizen. I'm not sure if I'm saying it right, but this is to thicken up the sauce. And I cook it in, I cook my hamburger meat in oil. Probably I've, I've said it before. I like it. And then I just drain it. And then I show you. I show you. So what I'm going to start by doing is I'm going to take my potatoes and I'm going to cut them down to in like little cubes, show you, something like this, little cubes like this, and then I'm going to do all of my potatoes like that, and then I'm going to boil them in salt water, I, and like you know, I like the skin on mine, I'm just going to boil this for about 10 minutes, and then when that's uh, when they like soft, you can feel it, not mushy, but soft. I'm going to pour the water off them, and then I'm going to put them in the oven for five minutes just to get more, most of the moisture out of them. And then I will continue making the mashed potatoes. So I will show you when I get closer to that and then when this is all cut down I'm going to start on the on the meatballs and I will show you how I'm going to do the meatballs it's exciting it is exciting I'll show you got my hamburger meat I decided to do the whole thing I might as well and I can just freeze it and take it out at later times so I added um I just put a dash of the oregano in it and I put probably like a tablespoon of paprika then we're gonna put some that's a new one so I gotta open it up a little bit of white pepper we don't really need a whole lot since since I'm gonna have the jalapeno in it I guess they don't want you to get in this thing there we go. Just a little bit, like that much. Okay. And then I start 
smástinu á með my fingers and I'm gonna add some garlic to it. I have to chop the garlic down. So when I have chopped that down, put that in, make that all in mix together, I show you when I make the meatballs. So now we are getting to that weird looking meatballs. Okay, so I mixed everything together. My salt, my garlic, my white pepper. I say oregano, but it, you're supposed to say it a different way, but that's okay. And my paprika. And I guess I was in too much of a Christmas spirit. Look at me, I got a pento. <laughs> I was probably a little bit too much Christmas spirit and got a little co confused there for a minute because I'm talking about frying my my uh, hamburger meat. I like to fry it in oil, but I am frying nothing. I am only putting, I'm putting a little bit of oil in my pan here because that's what I'm gonna put my meatballs in. So I'll put a little bit here. Not that they are not fair enough, but you know, it's okay. And then, let me show you. I'm gonna take big old piece. I guess I'm gonna cut them in half first. I'm gonna cut them because they're so big. If they weren't this big, I would probably just use the whole one. I'm putting, I'm using, I'm having everything in it. I'm not taking nothing out. So let me see, we cut it like this. I'm going to show you. Look at here. Woohoo! So I take, I'm going to make a big one. So I take a big old thing of hamburger. I'm going to have them a little big. Like this. You know how to do it. And then we're going to take one slice of bacon. And we're gonna wrap it around. Oh, wrap it around like this. Try to make it stand. We're just gonna do that. You don't need nothing here to stick in it. Then we're going to make a hole in here. And we're gonna stick this jalapeno in here. Look. I think it would be good. And then we could just stick it down here. So that's what I'm gonna be doing. Making another one. I think I probably better when you have them because they are they are very big. Usually because I couldn't find nobody no no smaller ones. I wanted them smaller. But and then I put it in the oven. I put the oven on 350 and I am probably going to have it in for, because they're so fat, they probably need to be in there 20 minutes. Might even have to be more. Look, little spicy. They're not, they're not too spicy, these jalapenos. Look, it's probably gonna be one, is it gonna be enough for, for one person? But when I'm finished and I have put it all in there, I'm going to show you. I got my potatoes on, so they, um, I just want them to simmer. I don't really want them to boil really crazy. So I just let them simmer for about 10 minutes, like I said earlier. Look at my jokers. Here we go. I have my little extra little baby for um, visit so he can't have this it might be too hot for him so I made him extra but it isn't all not that much but these are a little they, they they're huge so now I'm gonna pop it in the oven and I'm gonna keep it I probably have to keep it for 30 minutes or so here we go I would I'm gonna look at it after um after about 
20, 25 minutes. I'm gonna look at it and I'm gonna see how it looks instead, especially because I want the bacon to be a little crusty. I don't want it to be soggy. So I might have to put it on for the maybe last two, two minutes uh, on broil. But now I'm going to, well, I can just chill for a little bit because I don't wanna make my sauce yet. I wanna wait for the potatoes so I can make my mashed potatoes and I come back and I show you how I make mashed potatoes. Like nobody knows how to make mashed potatoes. <laughs> But I'll show you. So my potatoes have been boiling and now they are ready to be uh, drained. And after I drain them, I'm just gonna put them in uh, an oven safe uh, dish so I can pop them in the oven for about two minutes or so, two, three minutes. Let me take this off here. Pour the water off. Be back. <laughs> okay, the fish balls are in the oven. Oh, this is pretty. Okay, so now I'm going to put this one on here. All of them in and now I'm going just to put them in with the meatballs for a little bit. Look, oh, they look good this one. I was very lucky that I got good potatoes uh, in the store. So pop that in and then I will make my uh, my potatoes. I will put, I'm gonna transfer them back to the pot that I was using and then I'm going to smash them and add my uh, white pepper, a little bit of salt. I took out some milk here, if you can see it. I took it out. This is like a cup of milk. It might be, uh, it might not be enough. But this is, I just took it out so I can get it warm. And then I'm gonna add, I will probably add, cause I love butter, probably almost a half of it. <laughs> so it will be creamy. The more butter you put in, the creamier and nicer and smoother they're gonna be. So I'll come back. So I changed my mind. I'm always changing my mind. I decided to not put my potatoes back in the pot, but put a little bit of water in the bottom of the pot and then put my bowl in, in the water. So I want it to be in like a, we call it a wash bath. I don't know what it's called here, but I'm gonna transfer the potatoes over to here. It's a little hot. Hopefully they won't all go everywhere. Okay, here. And then I'm gonna smash them in here. There we go. Perfect. And I'm gonna use my little good toy. And I'm gonna smash them in here. Because they're gonna be more smoother. And then I'm gonna add my, oops, here we go, one potato here. Gonna, my warm water, my warm milk to it. Just like that. Easy peasy. Little bit of white pepper. Oops. And little bit of the salt. Even though I put just a little bit, even though I boil them in salt, you can add a little bit more. And then we put this good stuff in it. Good stuff, good stuff. Look, boom, boom. 
So almost a half of the burger. Good for you. <laughs> and then we just mash it all in here. And that's pretty much it for the mashed potatoes. Yes. Look here. It's going to be creamy. Creamy, creamy. I'm very, I like mashed potatoes. I like them a lot. If you make them from your own, you know, if you make them from potatoes, I like it better than the ones that you come, you know, the, the ones that come in the packs in the store. <clears throat> so, I'll show you how it looks like. Let me put this away. Let me show you. Look, it's a little warm. Oh, I'm, I'm probably going to um, smash it a little bit more. Look, it's very creamy. Very creamy. Nice. And now, meatballs. I'm almost getting ready and I'm gonna check them. Let me check them real quick. They need a little bit more time. The bacon is looking good though. And I'm gonna make my sauce. And yes, I come back. Now it's time for the sauce. So what we have is we're going to put in our cream. <coughs> So I have this, I'm using probably half of it. Yeah, a little bit more. A little bit more than half of this one. Then I'm going to add my sour cream to it. So it's like little, it's like two tablespoons. Of the, let me see, two tablespoons of the sour cream, and let me close this up. Then we're gonna add. It's only gonna be left one tablespoon, so we're just gonna use the same spoon in here. And we're gonna add that into it. This. Oh, I can't wait for the sauce. Just use this thing. Look. Mm -mm. And then I'm going to put one of the bouillon in it. the whole cream in it. One bouillon. I like my bouillon because it has everything in it. All those spices and everything tastes good to me. Then just put a little bit of the white pepper. I'm going white pepper on everything. Like this. This is like one fourth of a teaspoon that I put in. Let me see. Let me see how my meatballs are. Okay, so now I'm going to do the meatballs. I'm gonna put them on broil for two minutes. One, two, boom. Okay, what else are we doing here? Oh, to thicken up the sauce, we use in the maizana. I don't know how to say this. But with that, it is that you have to really figure out how much you need. You just, you can put a little bit in a glass, but you always have to mix it with water. You cannot put it in the sauce because it's all gonna go in nuts. Let me get water. I use a lot of water. And then I just stir it up 
Okay. The less water you put in with it, when you mix it, the less water you put in, the thicker it will be for the sauce, or the sauce will be thicker. But as soon as you put it in, it's not going to get thick right away, so you have to give it a little time. So now my goodies are mixing together here. My bouillon. Then you just, you know, if you want to add more pepper to it, you do so. You just taste it. So this is... Let me get a better... Let me get my little stuff here. Like this. Mocha, are you interested in what's going on, girl? So, now it's just like this. It's just like liquid. Thin. Oh, it smells good. That sour cream is the bomb. And now, let's add this. You stir it until you pour it in. Because if you put it down, it's going to separate from the water. A little thing. So now, I have my heat on medium heat. And I just put a little bit in because I have to wait for it to thicken. It's already thicken. Let me check my stuff. Now I can have a little bit longer. Let me do another broil. Never know. Timer. Another two minutes. Look, it's already starting to thicken. So I can probably add a little bit more. So stir, and then put it in. You can let the sauce, because you want this thing to boil a little bit, so you want to let it mix well together, because you don't want to taste too much of this. So you can let it simmer. I'm going to minimize the heat now to low, and I'm going to let that simmer for five minutes. Look, it's getting thicker. Yucky. Oh, it's gonna be good. Like I, like I always say, I wish you could smell it. But you just cook it. Hopefully uh, I inspire you to try some of these experiments of mine. So I'm gonna let that simmer here on the half. And then I come back when it's ready. I ended up adding more. I finished the whole cream because I, I didn't think it was enough sauce. And I finished all my thickening mix. I added more sour cream in it. And then I totally forgot the best thing, my soyo. So I'm going to do two tablespoons. And, and now I'm going to let that come up to simmering again. Let me taste this thing. Now we're talking. When you get that, mm, more sour cream and the soya sauce. And I added one more bouillon. So if you want the recipe, you just comment on my video on YouTube and you, you can, I can give it to you. Hopefully I remember. <laughs> I'll show you when it's ready, for real. Okay, it's ready. Look at it. So this is the meatballs. Let me cut in it and show you. Oh, I just wanna bite it though. Mmm. It might be a little bit too hot. Mmm. Hold on. <gasps> Ooh. Mmm. And then this. And the sauce. I like it. I hope the rest of the family likes it. But I would like to taste this. It's not too, it's not too spicy at all. Try it out.